Okay, let's do an example of a Fermi problem. In class we did the classic Fermi problem of estimating how many piano tuners might be in a given city. And as we explored there, the whole idea of these problems, sometimes called back-of-the-envelope problems, is to use a few things that you can guess or estimate very easily and use them uh, to calculate a number very quickly uh, to give you a sense of what the right number, the actual number, might be if you could do a complicated experiment or do a full-up calculation. So, uh, what I want to do today for an example is let's estimate how many pizzas are consumed on a college campus in a given semester. So, why might you want to know something like that? You might be a business person trying to imagine uh, that you want to open a pizza shop and you need to know how much pizza is consumed to know whether or not there's going to be a market to do this. You might be a person who's interested in building a recycling program around pizza boxes. Uh, there's all kinds of reasons why you might want to know this and so let's see if we can estimate the number. So what do you need to know to estimate a number like that? Well, the first thing you need to know is how many students are there on campus. So on our campus, a typical number of students is about 20,000 students. Now we could look up the exact number, but we don't have to, right? The whole point in Fermi problems is to estimate based on something you know. The numbers aren't going to be combined exactly. They're going to be combined uh, sloppily with you know aggressive rounding, and sometimes we'll round up and sometimes we'll round down, and we multiply together, we won't multiply exactly, and so it doesn't matter what the actual real number is as long as it's close. Okay, so we're going to write down the number, and as you'll note here, part of doing this and making sure you get to the answer you want is carrying along your units to make sure you're calculating things in the right way. Okay, so there's 20,000 students. So the other thing you need to know then is, well, if I have a pizza, how many students does that pizza feed? Well, that's a number you can estimate based on your own interactions with pizza. Um, I certainly uh, enjoy pizza, and so I would estimate that if I sit down to eat pizza, maybe, you know, after a long day of doing physics homework, that I would eat half a pizza. And so we would estimate then that one pizza is eaten for every two students. Okay, so if I were to feed all the students on campus pizza one time, I would multiply those two numbers together to figure out how many pizzas that would be. So that would be 20,000 students. I would multiply that by one pizza for every two students. So to feed all the students pizza once, you'll see students as a unit cancel out here, leaving me with pizzas, okay? I would need 10,000 pizzas, okay? To feed everyone a pizza one time, okay? So I'm partway there. Now, I want to know how many pizzas are consumed on campus per semester. Now, there's all kinds of variations that will affect that number. There are certainly some people, and I'm sure you know some of them, who eat pizza every night of the week. There are other people who eat pizza once every three weeks, and then, you know, everything in between. So, what you typically do in Fermi problems is you assume those extremes, extremes are not, not the norm that not everyone eats pizza every day and not everyone goes as long as three weeks without eating pizza. So you have to make some estimate of how often everyone eats pizza. And so, um, again, we're going to make some kind of uh, estimate based on your own personal experience. And so I would say that I eat pizza one time per week. Okay, so one time per week Right? This number is how often a student eats pizza. Okay? And so what I want to do is I want to multiply that by 
the number of weeks in the semester, the total time that I'm interested in considering how much pizza is eaten. And so a semester has approximately 10 weeks. And I'm going to multiply that by the number of pizzas I need to feed students each time. So that is times 10,000 pizzas. Okay, so again, this is just multiplying numbers together. All the weeks cancel out, and I'm left with what I care about, which is the number of pizzas per semester. And so we see that on campus, we expect a hundred thousand pizzas to be consumed each semester. So you can imagine if you are a business person trying to imagine starting up a pizza joint next to a college campus, this might indeed be a very good investment. Okay, so that's an example of how to do Fermi problems. You may have done this uh, same uh, calculation by making a few different assumptions. Maybe you might have changed how often students eat pizza. Maybe you would have had your semester be a little bit longer. Maybe, you know, you would have uh, had a slightly different number for the total number of students on campus, whatever. But by and large, I would guess that the number you come out with at the end is very close to that number that I just estimated. Okay, so I hope that helps a little bit. You can go ahead and try some of these on your own, and uh, good luck doing some Fermi problems. We'll do this again sometime.